Hello everyone. Today on this lecture, we we'll discuss about the epidemiological trial. So the epidemiological trial is an important topic. So before going to know about epidemiological trial, give a look on the disease. So when a person is called disease, when a person is called disease or unhealthy, because the when a person health is health condition is impaired, or you say departure from the state of health, and or you say it's the alternation of interruption of the performance of the vital functions okay so this is is described as is a condition in which the body health is impaired first second departure from the departure from state of health from departure from the state of health from the normal to abnormal and alternation of the human body interrupting the function of vital functions so vital function is disturbed those of the vital functions who have carried out in our body that is disturbed so these three points on on the basis of this point three point we call a person we call a person to be in disease condition okay and how this three thing condition is arises this three condition arises maybe the some of the some of the germs will be entering microorganisms entering the other otherwise some of the uh, some of the factors like uh, Unlike the heat or uh, excessive uh, exposure to heat, cold, storm, and uh, maybe some uh, force will be applied to our to us, accident, fracture, injury, and also by the some of the uh, where we are living, the uh, our surroundings or the uh, our habits, some of our habits that's uh, habits of taking alcohol or drugs and also we are taking some of the those were important uh, nutrient of our body we are not taking that much we are taking excessive or less so these are all this all together they make a person from healthy to unhealthy condition or you say in disease conditions so these are called all if you say all together that is called an agent okay so the agent these are the cause that will be affect even human body that is a host in a certain environment so all not the this all the by all the all is all, everywhere the microorganisms are uh, present but all the people are not affected by some uh, by the disease so few of them is affected so few of them why they affected due to some environmental factor is there that's why they are fall in sick condition or you say they are fall in disease condition okay so overall thing overall discussion based on three important points one is the agent that is the cause and that is the host that is the body and the environment that is the third factor the third thing so by the interactions of the or interdependence of these three things that is called epidemiological trial so the first one is the agent second is the host and the environment so in the environment condition in the environmental conditions due to some of the causative agents due to the causative agent agent means a cause causative factor a person is in the health condition is is come in a condition that is disease condition that is called the epidemiological trial so by the interaction of this thing agent host and environment a disease will be occur if there is no interaction that means no disease okay so that is the interaction between the agent host and environment that is called epidemiological trial so this is the important topic in epidemiology so now we we'll discuss one by one what is agent what is host and what is environment so agent is the cause that is we call agent the cause so it is also called is the fast link in the chain of disease transmission so first of all we when we discuss a disease condition this we will find about the what is the causative factor so this is agent is the fast link in the chain of disease transmission or it initiate the disease process it initiates the disease process so here this uh, otherwise you say agent is a living thing or maybe a li li non living thing and that will be affect our health conditions so now we discuss uh, there are so many agents are there and they will be category according to the uh, the category for for eg for eg remembers so now first one is the biological agent second one is the nutritional agent third one is the physical agent fourth one is the chemical agent mechanical agent and the social agent okay so we category 
according to the conditions we category them this causative agents are the category according to the conditions so biological who are come under the biological section biological section means the living thing so all the microorganisms bacteria virus fungi they are come under the section of the biological like bacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis tuberculosis is going uh, the condition of tuberculosis occur if the uh, by the uh, covid 19 coronavirus then we all affect with covid 19 and also in the in the parasites malaria is, uh, is caused by the parasites so these are the living thing we can put them in a biological section second one that's nutrition so nutrition these are few of the nutrients is very much important the important one the protein fats carbohydrate vitamins and minerals these are the main things five things that is important to our body so excess of any one that may be condition that is the ill health or less of or deficiency of anyone that will be leads to a condition of disease so excessive suppose you are taking excessive of protein fats everything then we come in the section of obesity so obesity is not a good thing it is also a one type of disease okay and second one if there is, there is any deficiency so vitamin deficiency disease are there and uh, when the, many vitamin diseases are there and you see under five children that is the protein energy malnutrition that is the deficiency deficiency of the uh, carbohydrate and the protein that leads to a digest condition so this is common under nutritional section third section that is the physical so physical means that is exposure exposure to heat exposure to radiation exposure to cold and electricity these are the physical conditions so when uh, someone is working in a coal factory or someone is uh, uh, working in a mining factory cotton industry then they have to expose every day they have to expose about this uh, things so there may be some of the disease arises in their body that will be come under the occupational hazard section we will discuss so that is the uh, that is the physical conditions physical causative agent that will be as that put a person into a disease conditions next one is the chemical so the chemical things there are two type of one is the exogenous and the endogenous inside our body there is some chemical loaches are there in our body so like uh, uric acid urea and uh, bilirubin these are the chemical things they, for what they are present in our body for the smooth maintenance of our body and also some of the, uh, the chemical that will come outside of our body that is uh, we are exposed to uh, insects in agriculture those who are working in agriculture they are exposed to insectic sites and also allergen dust fumes these are the chemical that is that will be uh, from the outside that will be affect to our body and inside uh, in our body that is uric acid level of when uh, uric acid level increases then condition arises that is got and when there is uh, urea is excess in our blood then uremia condition is arises and also jaundice that is the bilirubin level is decreases then jaundice will be occur so this these are the this is the chemical things that put a person this are the chemical cause that put a person into a disease conditions and the fifth one that is a mechanical when you expose you to from physical force uh, if you were, we were hit by accident or you have fracture and also dislocations or physical frictions uh, continue friction of the skin or boils blister that will be arises so that is a mechanical that also condition put a person into disease conditions and the social that is a poverty drugs addictions and the alcohol suppose you are living in a uh, in a we were under a so low in income groups and poverty is there and and, uh, proper housing is not there or overcrowding and there is a drug addictions these are the habits of our in our social in the society or where you are living so that also be one of the causative agents that put a person from healthy to ill health that is in disease conditions so this is all come under agent so already agent is uh, already we say that agent may be a living thing or may be a non-living thing by these things a person is come in the where the body function is impaired or you say the uh, alternation of the human body for alternation of the human body or, uh, or the vital functions are disturbed so these are the cause or you say the first link first link of the chain of the disease transmission next we go to the second point that is the host so second component is the host host means uh, in epidemiology host is considered as soil and the agent is the 
seed so when you put a seeds uh, when you on the soil by getting an, a good uh, go, by go, getting the nourishment from the soil they uh, the seed will be germinate so similarly it is a uh, is considered in epidemiology host is the soil and the agent is the seed and also say the person uh, who who is defined as the host the person who hovers hovers the disease hovers means who provide the uh, comfortable zone for the agent to grow up in our body so that is called a host so in host sections the three components are there that uh, we category the host into three or four points one is the biological characteristics second is demographical demographic characteristics third one is the social and the lifestyle in biological let's explain biological characteristics suppose we have get the genetic makeup or you have some genetic uh, uh, inheritance from our parents so we have also suffer with uh, genetic diseases like a uh, like uh, um, uh, thalassemia or you say uh, if the parents having the uh, diabetics hypertension so there may be chance of hypertension disease arises in the second generation and also the immunity so the if those who have the good immunity they have the they have they can pro overcome the disease if the immunity is less they have to fall on the in the disease conditions so that is the biological characteristics next is demographic characteristics some of the disease that will be that will be classified according to the age group and also the gender so as you say the protein allergy malnutrition we see the nutritional deficiency disease that is occurs in the age group of one to five years under five children so we will find out and also genetic gender if you specify the gender so heart disease mostly seen in cell in the male as compared to the female and cervical cancer breast cancer that is mostly found in the female in the female as a gender gender clarifications so next the social social characteristics is this kind the socio economic status and occupation in which field you are working if you are working in the agriculture field or you are uh, in the uh, in the cotton factory or anything that is uh, your working conditions and also the socio economic status if you are uh, good uh, economic level so you have uh, you have can uh, afford all these things that will help for uh, that will need for a good health so that may be uh, that may be the important so that will be uh, so due to socio economic status this may be occur or not and the lifestyle the lifestyle is important so it is depend on the it's or the host if the persons having the habits of uh, smoking taking uh, uh, taking alcohol or uh, um, uh, that is a behavioral factor eating habits and also uh, no exercises there within the persons the host within the host if they have habits these are the ill habits are there then that will be this may be occur so this is the category of this 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 is the characteristics of the host next third one is the environment so environment is surrounding the, whatever we see that is the environment so the surrounding allows the disease the surrounding which allow the disease that is called the environment one is the physical environment so, we see the physical environment biological environment and the psychological environment physical environment where we are living uh, in the area there the uh, populations or the surround uh, in our in environment uh, the populations uh, which group age groups people are living so that is important second one biological so well in our uh, surrounding the cattle soil uh, cattle or uh, goats or uh, animals who are uh, domesticated in our house from them also we disease may be arises and the psycho so psychological that is important so some of the cultures is there some of the beliefs are there that's on the basis we uh, we maybe uh, uh, our environment uh, due to this uh, cultural effect our environment environment also gives uh, put pressure put uh, emphasis on these things and maybe maybe this environment put someone into disease conditions so this is the classification of the environment so whole this discussion we discuss about the epidemiological trial and one thing is clear that this is the 
three important things are there one is the villain oh sorry one is the agent another is the host another is the environment so these are the things an agent is maybe living or maybe not living and agent are also classified according to uh, on uh, on the on the basis of their position they are classified biological nutritional physical chemical mechanical and social and the host host is also very much very nicely defined by biological characteristics demographic characteristics social and the lifestyles and the third point that is the environment that is the physical biological and psychosocial so this is all about the epidemiological triad this is a very important topic so that uh, it is a interaction between the agent host and environment that is the one thing so in an environment when the or causative agents affect our host that will be put a person put the host into disease condition if there is no interaction there will be no disease will be occur so this is all about epidemiological triad hope you understand thank you for watching and click please keep on subscribing